and welcome back to Baking with Your Sterling. I'm Isabella Frange and I'm also Miss New Jersey's Outstanding Teen 2021. And for Christmas this year, I wanted to help make the season extra jolly and extra merry. So I'm going to be showing you my favorite pastime, which is baking. Um, and encouraging everyone to stay happy, healthy, and home for the holidays to ensure that everyone is safe. So, today is part two of our sugar cookie video episodes. So, last episode, we made sugar cookies and they were successful. Surprising, a little bit, but regardless, we made sugar cookies and I haven't tasted any, but my brother said that they were really good and I trust his opinion. Right, today we're going to be making royal icing. I've made sugar cookies a bunch of times in my life, but I haven't made royal icing. So this is going to be probably a challenge, something very new, different, but I think we can do it. So a little bit of preface before we start. So my mom and I took a cookie decorating class um, right before Halloween, and it was so much fun and we learned a lot. And something that we did learn was about royal icing and how to make it, and there's actually two different kinds of royal icing used to decorate sugar cookies. The first one is to outline your sugar cookie. It's more stiff and will dry faster so that you can fill it with the second kind, which is a flood icing, which is a little bit runnier and will fill your entire cookie up with the color that you want, decorating your entire cookie. So it's the same exact ingredient. So your ingredients today are going to be powdered sugar, egg whites, and lemon, oh, <laughs> lemon juice. And Different ratios of those ingredients will get you your different icings. So I think it's time to begin. All right. So first things first, we are going to be placing our egg whites into a bowl and whisk by hand. Um, then we're going to transfer to a stand mixer with a whip. Hmm. I don't have a stand mixer with a whip, but I have a hand mixer with a whip. With a with a whip. Yeah. And. We are going to use this today. It should still work, hopefully. All right, so let's add those egg whites. So we are going to be adding six tablespoons of egg whites. So let's let's get that. Okay, look how cute this this tablespoon is. <laughs> it's a heart. Like, oh, come on. Oh, sorry. Four, eight, five, six. Alright, so now we have our six tablespoons of egg whites, and now I'm going to whisk it by hand until light and fluffy. Um. So they look, oh yeah, just like that, a little foamy. Now we're going to gradually add powdered sugar until the desired use, then add lemon juice and color is desired. Oh, so that's it. So now we are going to be adding four to eight cups of powdered sugar. It says four to eight because you have to determine what kind you want to make. So I'm gonna start with the thinner icing, the flood one. So we're going to be adding four cups, one at a time, and we'll see what, how it looks from there. All right, so first cup going in. It says to gradually add as you mix. So I'm gonna see if I can do that. Mix with my left and Pour in with my right. All right, so that's one cup in, and not quite icing yet. So we're gonna add another cup, and gradually add it. I think that's the best way to do it, so that you don't get a poof, and so you don't get clumps. Okay, so that's two in. Getting a little bit thicker. So, cup number three. Three going. All right. I'm just gonna scrape. The, ooh, I'm gonna scrape the sides a little bit so I can get all the extra um, powdered sugar combined. Oh my gosh, my hand is like cramping up. Ooh. Let's add our fourth cup, and I think it'll be almost there. We may have to add a fifth depending on how the next one goes. So, let's see. All right, actually, I did about, ooh, a 
fourth cup extra. I'm gonna probably do another fourth, so it'll be three and a half, and I think it, we made it good. Oh my gosh, look at that. That's like perfect. Okay, so I didn't even use all four cups. I still have, honestly, that's closer to a half that I was thinking initially. So this is what it looks like here. Now that we're at the right consistency, we're gonna add a little bit of lemon juice. So only a few drops of this. So. There we go. So now I'm going to get a couple cups out so we can put these into the piping bags. I have a bunch of plastic cups that I'm going to pour in our colors for our fill one. This one I will use for outlining. So we still have about, actually about half of it left. So something that I didn't know the difference was between food colorings. So usually when you go to like dye your Easter eggs, you use just the normal one that looks like water. But it is so important to use gel food coloring with royal icing because it will water it down and it won't be the right consistency. So I picked up a couple of different colors. I got just the primary colors and a couple of fun ones. And I'm going to add just a couple drops. Can she make it? Oh, not even close. I'm not going to be using yellow because that'll be... Actually, no, no, no. Just kidding. I'm using yellow instead of orange. Wait, no, no. Final decision. Pink is going there. No, pink is not. I have been able to decide on what I'm doing. So our red is going to be a pinkish red. Green. Greenish green. Orange-ish and periwinkle. Antonio? Yeah. Can you please help me? Okay, after a little bit of assistance, I have our red slash pink, and I'm gonna come back with the rest of our colors. So now our fill colors are done. Look at them. That was so, so easy. So now I'm going to take this and I'm going to add a little bit more powdered sugar. Uh, I think I'm just going to do a white stiff outline for all of them. Okay. All I had to do was add not even another cup and it's already so stiff. So don't do more than you need. All right. So this is our stiff one and I actually have a lot left over just in case. And I'm just gonna quickly clean up my station here and I'll get the cookies out and we can start decorating. Okay, so I changed camera angles so hopefully you can see a little bit better. And I'm gonna take the stiff icing, I already cut a little small spot in the middle. And all you're gonna do is just outline your cookie. Now it should just literally just fall onto your cookie. You don't wanna press it, just let it fall and don't move any faster than how your icing falls. Okay, wait, did that kind of work? Look at that. I think that's pretty good. Now I'm gonna go in with the green. It doesn't have to be perfect because I'm going in with a toothpick. Yes, toothpick. So the white outline is already dried by the time I'm about halfway done filling the cookie. So this is where I'm at so far. All right, so that is our first cookie. So that's the whole cookie filled in in white. So that is our candy cane. Okay, wait, it looks so much better from afar. So stars are actually really important to me. For those who don't know, in Miss America's Outstanding Teen Organization, um, each contestant has a platform, something that they are passionate about, something that they support and promote. And mine for, ooh, mine for as long as I can remember has been Make-A-Wish. My brother had a wish experience a few years back and since then I've loved the organization and I want to help kids get wish experiences who are just like my brother. 
All right, so here's our star all completed. And I'm gonna put this with the rest of our finished ones. Okay, so it's been a couple hours and I'm finally done. I'm, I'm really happy with how they look, but here you go. Here are all of my cookies. They are now iced and decorated after doing the outline in white and filling it in with our different colors. I'm really happy with how this turned out. So what do you think? It looked very good. Here, you have to squat down a little bit. Oh, uh, hi. Okay, um, so, okay, which one do we want you to eat? All right, so the snowman got a little messed up, so if you're okay, can you eat the snowman? Yes. All right, let me know what you think. Take a bite. Yeah. Your job is done. Thanks for your help. So if you end up making these cookies, let me know and take pictures, take video, document it all because I want to know how you guys do it. I'm very happy with how these turned out regardless. And I really hope that you have a great, merry, happy, jolly Christmas season. Um, and stay tuned for our next few episodes of me just baking and getting into the Christmas spirit. So please tag me on all of my social medias, um, all the information down below, and let me know what you think. I will see you next time. Bye!